This Friday, November 1st, is the last chance you will have to get into Phase 1 testing of Ashes of Creations Alpha 2. If you have been on the fence about jumping into the first phase of testing after watching everyone stream and play this weekend, well, you better make that decision quickly. Because at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on Friday, November 1st, those Wave 1 key sales will end, and you will have to jump in on the next wave, being December 20th. Currently, the Wave 1 key will set you back $120 and it includes access to Alpha 2 Wave 1 and beyond, Beta 1 access, Beta 2 access, one month of game time come launch, and $15 worth of Ember, which is Intrepid's in-game currency for their future no-pay-to-win cosmetic store. Phase 1, as you've probably heard, is stability and performance-oriented testing, so if you're not looking to test the game and just want to get in and play it, well, I'd suggest you wait a bit. Intrepid was plagued with server issues and a DDoS attack this past weekend, and while they are working to improve performance, it may be a few weeks before things are much more stable. If you don't want to deal with that, well, it might be better to wait until Phase 2 or beyond. Intrepid is, though, making progress, and they've found some potential fixes that they've been pushing to the PTR, but it's hard to say if those fixes are going to stick when the masses get back in this weekend. While this is very much an alpha through and through, Phase 2 will have a bit more content-oriented testing, as the primary focus will be on node advancement, economy, and node vassaling, and they plan to bring quite a few more systems online during this phase, some being some real heavy hitters. That content includes experience, Expansion of the Sand Squall Desert and Vandegar Tropics, two new node layouts, nodes up to stage 4 with vassal ships, node sieges, and node death, Veiloon and Dunir races, Rogue Archetype, which is said to be in one of the first big updates after the 1220 launch, which could probably put the Rogue around the end of January, as the big updates are normally every 6 weeks. You have dual wielding daggers two-handed maces and two-handed axes being added for weapons, siege vehicles, tempering gems, gear ascension, repair kits, artisan skill tree, animal husbandry, party gathering, player shops, leaderboard, and instance housing, all tied with the nodes and artisan, story arcs for the Riverland, Sand Squall Desert story arcs along with dynamic events and treasure maps, because as you probably know, the Sand Squall Desert has nothing right now, dynamic world dungeons, and NPC ambient behavior. As you can see, Phase 2 is really going to have a pretty heavy node focus, and this should make for some massive content in entertaining times, especially with node sieges, story arcs, and additional economy components. All of this content is said to be in by the end of Phase 2, aka May 1st, but going into Phase 1, the majority of the roadmap content is already in the game, so while I don't expect at least probably half of this content until the start of next year leading up to May, Intrepid could still very well give us quite a big chunk of it. The choice is yours, if you think you're all for the buggy server mess with poor stability at times and want to help test Ashes, then grab a key before Friday. If you would rather wait a bit for more content and more stable servers, wait and grab it with Phase 2 or 3. But if you're expecting a well-polished, content-completed game, you should probably just wait until the launch of Ashes of Creation. I've been asked before, do I think these keys are worth the money? And as I've said, if you are looking to not test this game and to just jump in and play, no, they are not worth your money. You're not going to get your money's worth out of it, and you probably won't enjoy it. Buying this key is making an investment in Intrepid and saying, hey, I believe in this project and I want to help shape its future, give my feedback, and really jump in and report bugs and and submit feedback on the forums and do all of that stuff that comes with being a tester. So again, the choice is yours. Buy that phase one key and jump in this week or hold off and wait until you get a bit more well-rounded completed game.